Hello creatives, welcome to Artist Star. My name is Beth and this is a daily pick a card and birthday reading for June 20th. If you were born today after sunrise, you are a 10 of clubs. Before sunrise, you are actually yesterday's card, which was a jack of clubs. All right, so I'm going to read each card individually, then all together for the collective. Then we're going to talk about the Ten of Clubs energy that we are all in today. We're in the soup of the Ten of Clubs. We're in the positive vibe, and we are in the possibility of that lower vibration as well. So let's get ready. Then I have a special birthday message for you, Ten of Clubs. This is your solar year cards. They are here to help you manifest to the height of your abilities. So let's get started and turn over card number one. So we've got the Ace of Clubs. This is very cool. And just so, you have the Ace of Clubs in your Mercury position in your Cards of Truth card chart. So this is really interesting. Gemini, you are the Mercury is your planet, your ruling planet. So here we are. Mercury, Ace of Clubs on a Ten of Clubs day. So, um... What about that? I mean, this Ace of Clubs is really the two really prominent things up around the Ace of Clubs. Three, really, actually, but one is that it is the card of original ideas. You have the opportunity today to come up with something brilliant. This is a nugget that is going to spur you into something original that is pure you. It's brilliant. Then we've also got this Ace of Clubs is the card that if you've been feeling a little blue under the weather, something like that, it is the pick me up card. So that is going to turn around and help as well. That may even spur the opportunity of that bright idea. You know how when you feel better, you just think better. You know, all that cloudiness lifts and that really interesting thoughts can come in. So there's that. It's a, The third thing is that it's a, a semi-fixed card, which means that it just doesn't come up as much in the Cards of Truth, Vedic Astrology, but when it does, it is connected with the, the Two of Hearts. So that is just understanding that you are going to um, make those emotional connections a little bit easier as well. If we get a Two of Hearts in the spread, we are really going to be in the mix of it today. But let's find out what we have for card number two. Uh, one more thing about this one. Check your, your sun spot because aces are the sun. This would mean your sun sign in the zodiac. And it would also mean in your cards of truth. If you don't have um, a cards of truth chart, personal one for you specifically, there's a link in the description box below. And you'll be able to see not only what is going on, what what sign, uh, what card your sun sign is in, but what is in your sun spot in your Cards of Truth chart. It'll make a difference. All right, let's see what is card number two. So we've got the Queen of Diamonds. This is great because she gets the job done. This is sparkly and shiny and lovely and just have this aura of confidence and if you want anything today if you pick this card you go for it because you are going to be like this bright beautiful sunshiny energy that is going to be so magnetic and you're going to have what it is that you need 
beautiful. And if you don't, you're going to see an opportunity for getting it and you're going to see exactly what you need to do to see it into something really worthy. So we're talking about skills and talents and finances. She can be a bit controversial. That is the thing about the queen of diamonds. So keep it high vibe. <laughs> Understand that the fours, fives, and sixes of the diamond suit are at your disposal, which basically means you're going to see the potential in something and be able to take it, make it what it really, really needs to be, something that nobody else really sees. It's like knowing uh, the, the diamond within the lump of coal and you, you fix it, you work it, you do what you need to do to it and you end up with that six of diamonds, which is incredibly uh, lucky and um, self, uh, well, this validation from outside sources for what you've created really highly intuitive, very psychic. So you've got it all going on today. Really, really lovely. Card number three. Oh, we've got yesterday's card, the Jack of Clubs. <laughs> Fast paced energy here. More around the, uh, the business end of things. And that's okay, but the nice thing about this Jack of Clubs is that it includes the Ace of Clubs. This is pretty brilliant here. It looks like we are all going to have a very interesting day. And we'll get to that in a minute when we talk about that Ten of Clubs energy. Let's first explore what this Jack of Clubs could mean for you if you chose this card. Having that Ace of Clubs in this mix you've got that brilliant idea. You've got an epiphany, that mood changing, feeling good and energetic, having the energy to, to do what you need to do. And that idea, that impetus is going to take you to that emotional moon knowingness, how to put that together and create something. You have, that it's work, you know, that's not a given. You're being given an opportunity, but you've got to really work it through. Jacks are super busy. They're messengers. So messages could come to you today around whatever it is that this Jack is going to bring you. And then there's the Mars energy that is putting it together. So an epiphany of an intellectual pursuit, something around your, your business, possibly a new venture into something that would be long lasting. This is fast paced energy. It's a young energy. It gets the ball rolling, but it's up to you to take it there. All right, so wow, we have got it going on today. High energy day. Thank goodness we are under that umbrella of the 10 of clubs. So let's do talk about that because tens are the life path. And this is Uranus energy as well. So there is that creativity of being your own uh I don't even know how, what to call it. It is you just comfortable in whoever you are. Beautiful energy. It's, it's a little bit of a, a rebel energy, which is perfect because we are also in that last day of the last deacon of Gemini. So today we have that Uranus energy double down. It's like they wanted to come and say goodbye to, to moving on into cancer tomorrow. So <laughs> totally different feel for things. And having this dynamic really get it done day, the 10 of clubs really likes the work. They're happy in the work. They want to do the work. 
They're comfortable in the work. It is a beautiful card for getting something done. Very energetic, but also just super mindful of what that really means for you. So that is like a, and, and the Ten of Clubs is this brilliant manifesting card. So whatever this brilliant idea is, we're really going to see the big picture with it. We're going to know exactly how to get there from here. We're going to see the value in it. We've got the energy to put the work into it. We got our confidence going on here. Everybody is high vibe and really looking pretty magnetic is a very good word for today. So what's the downside of all of this? What, what low vibe energy of the 10 of clubs might we bump into? Say you are feeling a little blue or under the weather. You're not quite feeling up to snuff. That's that lower energy vibe that you could easily, easily succumb to. So be aware that you've got this opportunity to to switch that around. That's that ace of clubs. You've got it doubled down here. So it can happen. You're just going to have to take advantage of this queen of diamonds and really get your confidence on. Dress for success, you know. Go do what you got to do to feel good as much as you can as possible. Because that ten of clubs shadow attributes are that self-doubt. It may be low energy, not high energy. And it might even be uh, more of a, a low self-esteem. So tap into the queen energy here and really pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Give yourself a good talking to. You will feel better. Put some music on. Remind yourself of some really brilliant things you've done in the past. How you've been helpful and meaningful in some way. I keep a notebook just for that sort of thing. I write down the good things. And that way, when you're in the in the muck of not being able to climb out of that dark hole, you go and you read a few things that you've accomplished in the past, some lovely blossoming of things, and you do feel better. And then what do I do? I go out and do a random act of kindness. It just really lifts my spirits to put a smile on somebody else's face. It could, you don't even have to go anywhere. You could just text it. Right? You could post something beautiful on Facebook. I mean, it's easy. It's just heightening someone else's um, energy heightens yours. So here we are. Yeah, this is the perfect day. All that Uranus energy, that independent rebel energy, the confidence, and we are embracing who we are at our core and not really, not really giving a fuck about, you know, what other people think. This is the perfect day. Wow, I'm really excited. This looks like a whole lot of fun to me. All right. Happy birthday, Ten of Clubs. This is for you. Let's see what's going to happen for you this year to heighten your manifesting abilities. Dream. Connect to your intuitive dream world of metaphors and symbols. Well, there you have it. Whenever any synchronicities come your way, you have the go ahead to start to manifest. You got to know that that is where it begins for you. And you've got the six of clubs in the spirit and nature cards of truth deck. So here we are. This is another, another card that is of that healer energy. Very intuitive. This is you being validated from outside sources for how well-rounded and knowledgeable and so much so that 
you are able to share that with other people and really make a difference in other people's lives. So this is part of it, this feel goodness, this sharing of some special knowledge that just you have. And it could really be around whatever metaphors and symbols. So those synchronicities that come to you during the day, you make a little note of those because every time that you need to go back and want to manifest with something, you will have that list of what came through for you. Was it um, you know, a dragonfly on your morning walk? Was it a big bumblebee? You know, take those things. And what flower did you notice today? What colors? All of that stuff. And especially through your dreams, keep a dream journal. But dreaming can be can be daydreaming. It can be just sitting and doing a a visual meditation, you know, pick something and really visualize what that is, sink into it, and then wait to see what comes to you after, because that is where you are going to start to fill yourself up. That will be the energy that you'll be able to channel and give to the manifesting. It's you feeling good about you and who you are. When you are feeling you to the core, that is where your your really good, juicy, rich energy lives. And that is what you, you put forth when you manifest. That's what you tap into when you, when you draw your sigil or you write it down and burn it with a candle, you know, what? however you manifest your wishes, that's where it comes from. So that's where you're going to draw from it. Really quite beautiful. All right, let's see what you got for the Wishcraft card. Painting with magic. I don't have to know everything all the time. Well, that's certainly asking you to trust. <laughs> I hope you're good at that. I bet you are. All right. Well, happy birthday, Ten of Clubs. I hope you have a fabulous year. And everyone, carpe diem, do it with kindness, curiosity, and as always, happy creating. <laughs>